What an honor to be here tonight. Not because I'm vice president-elect. I guess I'm not elect anymore. I'm actually the vice president. I tell you what, man, it's getting hard to get used to. You know what I mean? Hey, folks. It's an honor to be here with so many brave women and men. Your courage, your integrity, your, your dedication literally is an inspiration to Jill and me, and I think to all Americans. You know, I, I came to the United States Senate as a kid when I was 29 years old. And uh, what's happened, <laughs> I'm no longer 29. But when you see my wife, you'll think she is. But ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, my admiration from the day I arrived here has literally not figuratively grown every single year that I've been in Washington, D.C. as United States Senator and now as Vice President of the United States. I want you to know, I want you to know that I have a special place uh, in my heart for all of you. I've followed you guys all over the world. You're the bravest, best equipped, most competent, military in the history of mankind. And you know, although I, I guess technically I speak to you tonight as Vice President of the United States of America, and that is an honor. That is an honor. But I also speak to you as a father who has a son stationed in Iraq. And I can tell you, I can tell you without reservation, that is a greater honor than being Vice President of the United States of America.